What's up guys? Today is the start of a very special project. As you can tell from the title of the video, I'm gonna be restoring my grandpa's old truck. So it's a 1990 OBS Chevy, three quarter ton, regular cab, long box. And it has the Detroit 6.2 diesel in it. So my grandpa passed away a few years ago and uh, after that I thought in my head I would really like to have this truck someday and completely restore it. This was his nice truck. My family has a ranch in western South Dakota with about 100 head of cattle so he had a couple beat up farm trucks but this was the truck that he used to go to town and then he kept fairly nice. He didn't drive it out in the pasture with all the cows but it did get some use on the farm, so it's got some dings and dents here and there, but overall, it's really clean. There's no rust, because in South Dakota, they don't salt the roads. Uh, so it's a prime candidate for a restoral. So it hasn't been used much in the last couple of years, um, and my grandma just messaged me the other day and said, hey, the truck's not starting anymore. I'm gonna get rid of it, do you want it? And I said, absolutely, I want it. So. I uh, packed up my open car trailer and took it out there and grabbed this thing. So we just made it back and I can't wait to start working on it. So we're gonna start messing with it. It sounds like it might just be a starter or a wiring connection to the starter. My dad was saying that it just cranks really slow and won't start. So we're gonna play around with the starter, maybe put a new one in and see if we can get this thing to fire up. I don't think she'll even crank yet with how dead the battery is. dry it's weird that it's not making a crusty rusty mess there yeah when i broke my battery in the lexus it what the made fun? everything around it rust
All right, well, she fired right up. Uh, could have been a combination of cleaning the starter terminals and then putting new batteries in it, but I was really surprised. As you can hear, she's running great. So we're gonna go drive her around a little bit, see how it does, make sure the trans is good, brakes are good, all that. But then we can start driving it and start fixing up all the little odds and ends and restoring everything on it. Oh, yeah. I love these gauges on this thing. Yeah, I love them too. S10 had the same. The ones right before this with the blue like half moon. Yeah. I really like those. We're gonna drive her right over into the wash bay here in a minute. Right oh yeah, the brakes fucking work. Hydro boost is the just shit. locked up. <laughs> Trans feels too. great, yeah. So that, well, the trans, he spent a bunch of money rebuilding because it doesn't want to downshift properly. Um, but I think it's a vacuum issue. I don't think it's actually a problem with the trans. And supposedly there's a thing you can adjust. So maybe we should try to do that real quick. It's all about to kick down? Yeah. Well, there's a vacuum. Um, Brakes are touchy. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, she's slow. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no turbo, she's gonna be. That was bouncier than I would have thought. Yeah, the shocks are gone. Yeah, I don't. Does it even have shocks on the back? Yeah. Okay. They might not, like lots of times they'll break free uh -huh. and then just like won't be there anymore. Yeah. But they're supposed to be. I love this truck. So far so good. All right, so after the test drive, we uh, pulled the truck into the wash bay, got it all washed up, and I went to start it again afterwards, and the key wouldn't turn in the ignition. So messed with it forever, couldn't get it to turn, so I tried breaking the ignition, basically uh, bypassing the ignition, couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just left it there for the night, and then the next day I went and bought a new ignition. They're only like 20 bucks at the local auto parts store, so. We got that installed, uh, a little bit of a chore to do because you got to pull the steering wheel, but new ignition's in, truck still starts, uh, so we're all good there. Now the next thing I want to do is detail the interior. This interior probably hasn't been washed in like 20 years, so as you can see, it's pretty nasty. So we're going to do our best to clean it up. I think I'm actually going to pull the seat out real quick so I can clean underneath the seat as well. Uh, do the best job I can right off the bat so we can start with a clean slate. So let's get to it. Yep. All right, we got her done, so I'm gonna insert the before clip uh, right now. And here's what she looks like after. Now, as you can see, the interior is pretty worn out. It's faded. It's uh, 34 years old now. So I'm gonna look into some ways of possibly restoring it. But if I can't restore it and make it look as good as I want it, then I'll probably end up just replacing all of the interior with factory interior. Uh, we're basically doing a full restore on this truck uh, with a slightly modern twist. 
Uh, it's gonna get fresh paint, maybe some wheels and tires. And other than that, I just want it to look good. So we got a whole bunch of body work to do. Uh, but first things first, right now, I just want it to be reliable and drivable. So there's a few maintenance things we need to do. It's got an oil leak, maybe a power steering leak. I wanna see about possibly getting the AC working, a few other odds and ends. So that'll be the next step. Um, but for now, at least it's clean, it's running, driving, so we can take it out if we need to or want to. So I'm excited. Like I said, this truck is super special to me. Not necessarily because I like the truck, but just because it was my grandpa's truck and uh, he's gone now and it'll mean a lot to me to be able to restore his old truck. Um, you guys know me, most of my stuff is not perfect condition. Uh, I built a race car, so it's gonna get messed up. Wasn't too worried about it being perfect. This truck, on the other hand, I want it to be absolutely perfect. So it's gonna be a long build. It'll be uh, steps here and there over the next few years, um, but it's gonna be a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. So that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, hope to see you guys on the next one.